What is considered beautiful to you? Many people have a different interpretation of the word beautiful. Some think personality is beautiful, while some shallow people think physical appearance is what defines beauty. And you know what? Those shallow people are absolutely correct! Which is why today, we're gonna react to a webtoon that confirms those beliefs. <laughs> Alright, so this webtoon has been recommended by various people, from my comment section all the way to my own family. This one is very requested. And it's been requested for all the wrong reasons, since apparently it has a huge downward spiral. Now, I don't know about any of that, all I know is that this webtoon is popular. And we all know popular webtoons are what pays my bills. Anyways, you guys already know the drill, I'll read 10 episodes. wait, wait, what? Episode 0? Well, I guess in that case, no episode 10 review. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into this video. We start off this webtoon with a bunch of people gawking at this girl. A guy then comes up to her to shoot his shot, and we see how she looks. Yes, she is very beautiful, but look at Liver King! She goes over to a coffee shop to get a- wait, a, a what? Why would they censor rap? Only people who hate rap would censor it. And the only person who I know who hates rap is- What the hell? He gives her a lot of whipped cream on her frappuccino by her request. Hey man, all I'm saying is that's a lot of whipped cream. I wouldn't drink too much of that stuff if I were you. She meets up with her friend and- oh no, I'm gonna butcher these names. Alright Chalupa, just say them. You got this. <gasps> Ju Young! <laughs> they take a look at Ju Young's Instagram post and she has a lot of likes, but only 17 comments? Oh nah, that can only mean one thing! We're shown her daily life of being beautiful, and it seems like she's living her best life. But then, she takes off her makeup, and it turns out she's a 4 out of 10! We flash back to a time when she was ugly, and for lack of a better term, she's kind of a loser. As we can see, she's really doing nothing with her life. And I'm not saying she should be some super hustler working in the coal mines or something. I'm just saying, when you're at this age, you should try to work hard for your dreams. Don't take your youth for granted. Use it so when you're a young adult, you can actually enjoy life rather than be stuck in a dead-end job. <laughs> Joe Young gets bullied into buying dumplings, and she trips on a guy whose whole bit is he has really long legs. They have the same taste in music, and she instantly thinks he's into her. Lady, you don't think you're reaching just a little bit over here? Sure, he's being nice to you, but that doesn't mean he's head over heels for you. She buys tickets for a concert so she can ask him out, and oh, what a surprise, bro's in a relationship. Wait, 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 don't, don't waste the tickets! You could have been like Mr. Beast and just given it to a random person. She goes home and demands for plastic surgery, and when her mom says no, she mouths off and says she hates her. After crying for a bit, she goes on an anonymous forum, probably Korean Reddit, and she complains about her life. Someone then suggests using makeup, and she looks it up to see how beautiful people can get. And after seeing before and after pictures, she's dead set on using makeup. Well, I'm glad she found a way to become beautiful, but I just hope it never rains when she's wearing it. Joo Young buys some makeup and starts applying it. She goes through a whole process and- uh, ah! Alright, I really don't want to sound mean, but please don't go to school wearing- Oh, oh, oh never mind, you, you went to school like that. Unfortunately for Ju Young, everyone makes fun of her for applying her makeup terribly. She goes home and asks Korean Reddit what they think, and to no one's shock, they're saying her application was garbage. After following a step-by-step -step process and going completely broke, she tries the makeup process yet again. This time, now that she actually knows what she's doing, she's actually doing a pretty good job. Well, I'm glad she's doing well. Let's just hope she doesn't mess up again- <laughs> After successfully using makeup, she practices her makeup applying skills during winter break so she'll look enchanting by the time school comes back. And when she returns to school, she actually looks great! Would you look at that? She can look beautiful! Yes, but Chalupa, we have to remember that physical appearance is not all that defines a person. We have to consider their personality. <laughs> Ow! 
Everyone in the classroom calls her pretty, and this is all gratifying to her. She becomes incredibly popular, with boys wanting to ask her out and everything. And then she gets home. <coughs> now unfortunately, she isn't true to herself at school, as she doesn't showcase any of her actual hobbies. Like, there isn't anything wrong with mainstream culture, but be an individual, Ju Young! Don't be a beautiful NPC! One day, she goes over to a comic shop without any of her makeup, because no beautiful people can like nerdy things. As she reaches for a comic, an attractive guy reaches for it too! What? Attractive people can like nerdy things too? Ah, no! My life is ruined! I gotta run away! After what seems to be an awkward silence, he says he saw it first and takes the comic. She says he's being a jerk, but hey man, we all know finders keepers. That's how it's worked in history, <laughs> and that's how, that's how it's always worked. She gets back home and starts teasing her little brother, saying that his girlfriend is probably ugly like her without makeup. Well, I guess that rule can also apply to men. W wait a second, does that mean he might not be natty? <laughs> The bag she normally takes to school is wet, so she's forced to take her old middle school bag. Don't worry, Ju Young, I doubt anyone will notice. As it turns out, the attractive guy goes to her school, and his name is Suho. Everyone else apparently thinks he's a jerk, so I guess she isn't alone in this. They say hello to a guy called Mr. Han, and they're absolutely in love with him. W wait a second. Oh my goodness, he'll go to jail if they get their way! Don't worry, Mr. Han, I'll save you! Ju Young and her friend go to buy some makeup, when all of a sudden, the skeleton thingy in her backpack falls off. Fortunately for her, someone picks it up. Man, what a nice guy. I wonder who he could be. Ju Young hangs out with her friend at a cafe, having girl talk, talking about things like makeup and, uh, uh makeup. Eventually, the topic of learning Japanese comes up, and her friend wants them to study with a guy who knows the language. Apparently, he's handsome, so they end up going for it. Ju Young is fantasizing about not being single anymore, and I'm skipping this. She meets up with everyone and says hi, but what's this? It's Suho! What a twist! As they're studying, Ju Young is nervous that Suho will recognize her. He'd make the occasional glance at her, but he never called her out, so she's not too sure. To get her mind off the whole thing, she goes to the comic shop, but wouldn't you know it, Suho is there again! However, he doesn't recognize her, so she's happy. However, as he's about to get a comic, she calls it bad, saying it fell off midway. She recommends him a different comic, and he ends up buying it, and he doesn't even say thank you! No. Rude people will not live on the same planet as me. I must destroy him! It is me, Suho. She says hi to Suho at school, and he doesn't even look at her. She goes back to him and eventually asks for his number. He gives it to her, saying to only call him if it's urgent. Hey man, it may seem rude, but you never know how busy my man is. He could be Korean Spider-Man for all we know. Did I seriously write that into the script? Bro, I need better material. Wait, 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 guys, please don't go. I swear I'll be funnier. She encounters Suho at the comic shop again, and he says the comic she recommended was actually pretty good. She recommends him some more, and would you look at that? He's being nice. Maybe he's so mean because people only like him for his looks and nothing else. Wait a second, a, a slightly complex idea in a webtoon? Nah, not possible. <laughs> Ju Young wonders why Suho acts so differently in the comic shop than in school. She goes on Korean Reddit to ask what they think. But remember, it's Korean Reddit, most of the replies are awful. She thinks to herself if Suho would ever be interested in her without the makeup. She thinks back on her time of being an ugly girl in public and thinks there's no way Suho would ever like an ugly girl like her. Then she goes to the comic shop and Suho gives her a limited edition comic book! Bro, no! Attractive man can't like ugly girl! Society will crumble! Jo Young goes over to the makeup shop because there's a sale and she has to fight the mob of women. Fortunately, she gets what she wants, and as she's about to walk away, someone yells her name. And that someone turns out to be Suho, who has figured out her identity. Jo Young, calm down, don't do anything drastic, please calm down! 
Ju Young tries to act like she's a different person, but it's clearly not working. She thinks over what she can do and figures none of them will work, so she does the only logical solution. <gasps> she accuses him of being in a cult. Bro, why? Now Suho will be sent to concentration camp for nothing. Now that Suho knows, she thinks she'll be exposed for being ugly and her reputation will be ruined. She thinks the only thing she can do now is deny all allegations. She goes to school and Suho is there waiting to confront her. Suho confronts her about yesterday, but she plays dumb. Suho isn't having any of it though, and he tells her that he picked up her skeleton thingy. Now that she realizes there's nothing she can do, she begs Suho not to tell anyone. She thinks that maybe Suho will be nice about it, but she says she'll do anything he says, so he takes that offer. Be prepared to do anything, Ju Young, and I mean anything. We cut to the next day, and it turns out Suho wasn't kidding as he's ordering Ju Young around. Eventually, lunchtime comes around, and just as Ju Young is gonna eat with her friends, Suho calls her over. They meet up at the rooftop, and he's actually being nice by giving her food. Good food. Unfortunately, it's his sister's lunch, so she's probably starving right now. He eventually invites her to go see a movie, and she asks him why he doesn't see it with his friends. He tells her he doesn't have any friends, and she goes silent. After they watch the movie, they go out to the arcade and they're having a great time. My man's even smiling and everything! It's all turning out great! But what's this? SOMEONE IN PUBLIC KNOWS SUHO! Unfortunately, I won't know their connection, because this is episode 9. Remember, no episode 10 reaction. Alright, so this actually wasn't all that bad. There were some parts that had me a little confused, but this is set in South Korea, so I'll just chalk it up to cultural differences. The art looks great too, so it's earned a Cristiano Ronaldo meme. However, just like Let's Play, I've heard it eventually gets bad, so... Yeah. Anyways, final statement. Eh. It's cool. Anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you to everyone who watched this video in its entirety. If you guys liked this video, then please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you guys have any video suggestions or any other webtoons that you want me to react to, then please leave it in the comments section below. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.